I hello guys I hope all of you are fine in today's video we will be discussing reduced grammar now what is a reduced grammar from the word reduced grammar is it is a grammar uh, that is free from uh, useless rules and unreachable rules so guys what are a uh, useless and unreachable rules guys these are the rules that don't contribute for generation of strings so they don't actually con contribute in generation of strings so that's why they are uh, referred as useless and unreachable rules now what kind of rules are uh, what kind of rules are useful that we will be discussing in reduced grammar part now if if i want to generate string so what is the first important thing that you have to basically target it means uh, there there is one tip that i would like to give you uh, that if i want to generate a reduced grammar i will target rules that generate strings so guys what rules are generating strings obviously the rules that are directly generating terminals those are very important rules now we have to target those particular rules there is a procedure for the, the entire same thing so kindly watch the video till the very end uh, so that you can note how the reduced grammar is generated so the very first important thing is that uh, see useful rules are uh, useful rules are those rules that basically generate only terminals so it means the first step find non terminals and these are non terminals that generate only terminals so only terminals that are generated see in this particular rule so i can say this rule is generating a single terminal this rule is also generating a single terminal as well as is also generating a single terminal it means the non terminals are a b and e this is first thing a is generating small a b is generating small b and e is generating small c these are the non terminals are very very important because these are generating only terminals only terminals generate strings first thing second step is that if these non terminals are important so the second step for us would be find non terminals that generate a b e if if non terminals a b e are very important because they are generating only terminals so the terminals that are uh, because a b e are generating only terminals so the non terminals if they generate either a or b or e or any combination involving capital a capital b capital e only guys see uh, if i have to see uh, the non terminals that are generating a b e i must consider the combination of a b e only there is no other non terminal apart from a b e that should be considered it means i can consider a b a b subset can be formed i can consider b e i can consider e a i can consider a a i can consider b b i can consider e e also so any of the non terminals involving a b e only it doesn't mean that i can write a c i can write b c only because here it is a here it is b so i can create a c non terminal and i can generate that no the combination of a b so if i have to see which non terminal is generating a b combination yes s is the one which is generating a b combination it is not involving capital c by the way it is involving a b only so i would say that s is generating a b a is generating small a b is generating small b and e is generating small c so it means our set has become s a b e now again whatever number of non terminals that i am writing i have to find no those non terminals that are generating s a b e it means i will find find non terminals generating s a b e guys is there any non terminals 
that is generating capital S. Capital S generation means capital S on the right side. Capital A, capital B, capital E. Obviously, there is no other non-terminal which is generating S. Uh, A, B are generated by S, S only. So again, S is generating A, B. A is generating small a, B is generating small b and E is generating small c. So there is no other non-terminal which is generating S, A, B, E. Again, our answer was S, A, B, E. Over here, this is S, A, B, E. It means both are producing the same answers. We will stop here. It means we have done step number A means we have removed useless rules. So your useless rules are removed. What are your useless rules? This capital B is generating capital C is the rule which is useless rule. It is not coming anywhere. So this is the very first step of it. So it means are uh, the entire rules after this particular thing are your rules after the first step are S is generating capital AB capital A is generating small a, capital B is generating small e, capital E is generating small c. Now the important thing since I told you in the beginning part, you need to see any unreachable rules also. So we have to find out those. So how we can find out? Finding unreachable rules by, you can clearly write S S is generating capital A, capital B. I can create a derivation tree to find out which rules are useful and which rules are not. A is generating small a. B is generating small b. Clearly, there is no question of capital E here. Even you can try derivation tree. You are driving S is generating a, b. A is generating small a, b is generating small b. There is no question of E. So this becomes unreachable rules. So it means the entire grammar has your useful rules as S is generating AB, A is generating small a, B is generating small b. This is your reduced grammar. To find, uh, we have to see uh, that what out of it is useful and what out of it is useless and we have to remove useless and unreachable rules. Now clearly you just have to see this entire scenario. The entire scenario is given with S is generating AB slash CA. So we have to find out first thing, find non-terminals that generate that generate find the non terminals that generate terminals only terminals only means uh, you have to see only on right side they are generating terminals so the terminals are uh, your non terminals are s b a and capital c your terminals are a comma b your production rules are given and your starting symbol is s so which um, which non terminals are generating terminals a is generating small a c is generating small b it means your set has become ac now it means i have to find out that non terminal that is generating the combination of ac either single a is fine single c is fine c c a a all combinations are fine but no other non-terminal apart from A and C. So it means my second step is find non-terminals that generate A and C combination. So S is generating A, B. Guys, B is coming unfortunately. I cannot take this rule. S is generating C, A, which is actually we wanted. So it means S is generating C, A that we wanted. A was generating small A, C was generating small B and yes uh, we have got s a and c now we have to find out third thing find non-terminal generating since your set has become s a c you will write s a and c uh, is there any non-terminal which is generating s on right side c on right side definitely s is generating c a which we have already written so these rules will be repeated here Every rule is repeated in one step to the next step. 
Now, uh, these rules are definitely repeated. Uh, S is generating C A, A is generating A, C is generating B. Uh, is S getting generated? No, S is not there on right side of any rule. So clearly, these are the three rules and rest are useless. It means this rule is not taken, this rule is not taken, even this rule is not taken, even this rule is also not taken, right? Now, the what? these are useless rules which are removed. This is removed entirely. This is removed entirely. This is removed entirely. Now, I have to find unreachable rules. Again, create uh, a derivation tree. You always start with S. S is generating C A. C is generating small b and A is generating small a. There is nothing which is unreachable. Hence, clearly this is the exact grammar. This is a reduced grammar. Hopefully, uh, this is clear to all.